I'm gonna jump right into it. How to make $500 a day in your lawn care business. In this particular order, number one, you gotta have fast advertising. The reason I say that is because we got the spring rush. You gotta capitalize on that spring rush if you're gonna make $500 a day. If you're already doing it, this don't really apply to you, but if you just starting out or haven't got to that point yet, the spring rush, for anybody who's been in the lawn care business, they know that that's the busiest time. That's when you're gonna be able to get the most amount of customers at one time. So you want to be able to advertise really fast, meaning you want to use that opportunity to get your phone ringing or, you know, enough to be able to make $500 a day. But that being said, I don't know how you advertise. It's a lot of different ways. That's, that's a whole nother video of how to advertise. I'm going to make another video about that but you have to market yourself and put it out there and get the phone ringing because without doing that first step, your phone not ringing hard enough to get the custom amount of customers a day to be able to cut that many yards a day. So me personally, I use postcard marketing, but that's a whole nother story. So first thing you gotta do is ramp up the, um, the advertising like the amount of advertising you do um, second you gotta you gotta answer the phone it's just that simple if you go out there and you do let's just say you do flyers and you're gonna go out there and you're gonna go door to door you're gonna pass out flyers for hours a day and whatever you do postcard marketing or you got a website where you're getting 10 calls a day or whatever it is. Now, if, if you got those calls coming in, but you're not able to, but you don't answer the phone for whatever reason, you gonna, a lot of those people are going to slip through the cracks. In the first couple years of my business, that happened a lot, but now it don't. And I'm going to tell you why. This right here has been a game changer for me. This little, it's called Isotunes Pro. It's little earplugs you plug in to your ears. They, they last, I would say, they last all day unless you listen to the music on them. They do, you could play good music on there and, and sound good, so it's easy to run them out halfway through. They charge up real fast though, but, um, you know, I keep these in my ears all day long. From when I get up in the morning, I put them in. That way, when I'm cutting yards, I can still hear my phone ring. And these things are so clear that I, I still cut the machines off just to, you know, so they can hear me better. But, you know, I can answer that phone while the mower's still on. And I, I cut it off, but you can hear it crystal clear. So that's a big problem. When you, when you got that amount of calls coming in and you still continuing to cut yards, you don't hear the phone. So... These have been a game changer. I mean, I literally get so many calls while I'm cutting grass that I would have missed. So get get you something like these or maybe an answering company. I don't know how that works, but these been work perfectly for me. These are like my secretary. They, they make me hear even when I got the backpack blower on, I can hear the phone calls. Uh, so you gotta answer that phone. And these are help for sure. If if you can't hear the phone ringing while you while you doing your thing. The third tip is you gotta get some type of software to organize. Once you got the phone ringing, you answering the phone. Now you have to organize all of these calls. Me personally, I use Yardbook. 
I it was it it was a game changer for me. I think I started it in my second year and my income just like doubled because I could just put all the information in there and it just tell me my route and I don't even have to try. I just do my book work before I go to bed. And the next day when I wake up, I got everything that I need to do right in order. Uh, so I suggest Yard Book. I haven't used any of the other ones, but you got to get something to organize $500 worth of yards a day. It's going to be very hard to do with just a little notepad or some notebook that you're using. Definitely, it'd be impossible to do it by memory. So... I would highly suggest get in tune with and, and perfect and learn some type of software to organize these yards. And yard book is a good one. I'm not I'm not endorsed by them or anything like that. I just really like their software and uh, to be able to now you don't need it, but to cut five hundred dollars a day seven days a week worth of yards you're gonna need a software so you're gonna have to get that number four um is the equipment as you can see right here i got the 36 inch stand on it's perfect for the the size yards that i do to get into the backyard because i only cut really small yards that's going to differ from your lawn care business so you have to get the, the right equipment for yourself. The equipment you need to be most efficient on the yards that you're doing to be able to get to the next yard faster. And also like your handheld stuff, you want a strong backpack blower, uh, strong efficient trimmers. And Now with that being said, if you don't have the strongest equipment, you're gonna at least need a helper or two. I work solo, so for me to make that type of money, I have to have strong equipment. That's why I have the X Mark and I have steel because it makes me most efficient and I'm not all day cutting cutting these yards and I can hurry up and get to the next one. Like I said, uh, if, if you don't have very strong equipment, maybe you need to get a helper until you're able to afford the stronger equipment. Um, the helper would just speed things up. You might be able to cut yards twice as fast because while you cutting, he trimming. You gotta have some strong equipment to be able to do the yards correctly and do a good job to be able to retain these customers and not have to advertise so much because you, you'll have a high, a high retention rate. And the last tip I'm gonna give you is just the obvious, you gotta collect your money. If you're gonna, if you're gonna make $500 a day or, or better in the lawn care business, you gotta, you gotta be able to collect that money. Um, what I do is I collect my money when I'm done with the yard. I don't charge monthly. I don't uh, do any type of payment plans. If when I the day I cut your yard, I expect to be paid that day. So I, I have a lot of people set up on Cash App. I got PayPal. A lot of people be at home when I cut the yard, so they just peek out the door. Hey, come get your cash. Give me my cash, my check, whatever. You ain't going to be able to make $500 a day if you're not able to collect that money. Because... From my experience, the people who want to play around and pay every month, unless you got their credit card on file, and you could manually take it out, that payment out, their account yourself, you're going to have a, a lot of people that's having you cutting yards all month and not get paid. So, this, this video is just about getting paid five hundred dollars a day now if you don't mind getting paid every month or however you do it that's all right i don't i don't i don't see nothing wrong with that uh it might be some benefits to doing that i'm not sure but 
just for the sake of argument for this video five hundred dollars and one every day seven days a week you got to be able to collect every day and that's just how i do it because my thing is if you if you dealing with a slick person you really don't know so you don't by the time you find out it's too late and if you collect the money every month or you know you're doing this billing thing that people used to do a long time ago um you could literally be cutting these people yards for a month or two and they decide they're not going to pay you what you're going to do go to court and spend money going to court and now you got to prove it and all this other stuff when you could have just charged per visit now, if you don't if you don't pay me the first time, if I cut the yard and you don't pay me, or you make up some type of excuse and dodge me or whatever, that shame on that shame on you. But if I go and cut it again and you didn't pay me for the first time, that shame on me. So you only gonna be able to get me one time. That's all you got. That's only time. That's all. You, that's all you can steal from me. You can't have me cutting it all month and all this, and and then decide you ain't gonna pay me. It just ain't gonna happen. And you are gonna get a few of those people every year, but my system is you only gonna get me one time. I don't have system where I didn't cut your yard for a month and you you didn't pay me. I don't. I don't do that. So, but like I said, like everybody got their own way, and it's not no right or wrong way. That's just the best way to do it if you want to make $500 a day. Alright, if this video was helpful, hit the like button. Um, go ahead and subscribe. I'm going to be making uh, videos every Sunday. Peace.